Okay, we've just been through 15 days where the thermometer did not even crack the 32 degree freezing mark. Knowing how to dress for such weather is important. New Senator Bill Green spends much of his life standing outside freezing. He's here to offer some cold weather tips. <laughs> That's right, Patrick, and I would have a pretty good source to do this. Now, most of us know everything that I'm about to say and going to reinforce the basics that will not only keep us alive, but happy the next time that a cold snap hits. I went to Mainbound on the university campus. Here they run outdoor experiences for all levels, and the first thing they teach the neophytes is how to dress. That starts by thinking, hey, this is a university. People should plan ahead and prepare. When you're in the winter environment, you want to make sure of what you're getting into, and maybe even potentially not going out. Lisa Carter advises students to develop a system for whatever activity they will be participating in, and that starts with a base layer. Cotton is rotten. Polypropylene wicks sweat from the skin, but it can saturate. Good old-fashioned wool is durable, wicks, and creates loft. Tiny air holes that allow you to stay warm, says Christopher Bartram. I think you should definitely get merino wool as your base layer because it insulates you even when it's wet, it doesn't smell, and it's all around the best that you can buy. Mainers are thrifty, but those who work and play extensively outside don't. They have to break down and get the good stuff for layering, and that usually includes a wool sweater. The clothing is important, but the most important thing is the idea that you need to always stay dry when it's cold. Clothing like new center jackets, lined on the inside and waterproof on the outside really help. This layering, waterproofing, and windproofing should include the legs as well and keeping feet dry and warm is a must. I got these last year and I will never go back. It really made me think in the 29 years that I've been on this earth, why did I not do this earlier? Because most of us are pretty numb until we're 29. Then we slow down, think, and bundle up with layers of appropriate clothing for whatever outdoor activity we're participating in. Now, I know we're not yet through the season, but next winter will be cold too, so the sales are about to start. Keep your eyes out and don't hesitate to hit thrift stores, especially for those wool sweaters. And don't forget the main meme survey when asked, what is the, the favorite wintertime activity? Is it snowmobiling or skiing? Maine's favorite wintertime activity is going inside to warm up. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm very good at that. Thank you, Bill.